Hi, welcome to Solomon Says, a division of Hebrew Wizards. I'm here to teach you everything that you need to know about being Jewish so that you too can become a wizard. Hi, I've created this board just for you. The J holidays and J months, J standing for Jewish. So here we have a big giant circle and in the circle are the holidays that fall within the Jewish months of the year. We begin with Tishrei and then we move to Cheshvan. We have Kislev and Tevet and Shavat. Adar and Nisan, Er and Sivan, Tammuz, Av, and Elul. We have a great song that we made up in our school, Hebrew Wizards, and it goes something like this. Tishrei Cheshvan, Tishrei Cheshvan, Kislev Tevet, Kislev Tevet, Shevat Adar, Shevat Adar, driving in my Nissan to the ER with my friend Sivan, Tammuz, Av, and Elul. And if you make up fun songs, I think sometimes it makes it much easier to remember the 12 months of the year. So Tishrei is where we have all of our high holidays, but I want to point out here that in this circle of holidays and months, that the real first of the month happens in the month of Nisan. And it is Nisan where we escape from slavery to freedom and that's when the Jewish people became a nation. And it's then that we started counting the months of the year. So let's find out what month Tishrei really is in the months of the year. Achat, Shtaim, Shalosh, Arba, Chamesh, Sheish, Sheva. So it's really the seventh month that it's really in the seventh month of Tishrei that we celebrate the high holidays. So in Tishrei, it's sort of like our um, high holiday month. And we celebrate all of them in the month of Tishrei. So let's see what holidays fall in the month of Tishrei. It's sort of like a question, what is the holiday of the Jewish month where all of the high holidays fall? And that is the month of Tishrei. So here we go. We have Rosh Hashanah, our Jewish New Year. We have Yom Kippur, our Day of Forgiveness or a Day of Atonement. Here we have Sukkot, which is our holiday of Jewish Thanksgiving, our harvest holiday or one of the three pilgrimage holidays of the Torah. We have Simchas Torah, which is a celebration of the Torah or the Torah's birthday. So all of those holidays fall in the month of Tishrei. And I love the symbols um, that we have here, the devash and tapuach, tapuach with devash, apples and honey, and a sad face saying, I'm sorry for Yom Kippur, and a sukkah for Sukkot, and a beautiful Torah for Simcha's Torah. Then we have the month of Cheshvan, and not a lot of things happened in Cheshvan, but sometimes you remember a special month that might something special might have happened, both good or bad. And then this particular month, my father passed away. So I always say that this is a blue month for me. And maybe you have a blue month of someone who passed away in a special month in the calendar for you. Here we have Kislev. Kislev is a great month because a lot of people really love the holiday of Hanukkah. And that is celebrating Judah and the Maccabees and our dedication as Jews. And here's our Hanukkah. And then we have the month of Tavat. And there's not much going on in that month that I know of. But in the month of Shavat, 
We do. We have two Bishvat, which means the 15th of Shabbat, and that's when we celebrate the birthday of the trees. And in the month of Adar, we always remember Purim and Esther's victory. And there is sometimes an Adar too, and that is during our like leap year uh, Jewish calendar. Then we have the holiday of Passover, which we talked a little bit about, is really in the month of Nisan, which is really legitimately our first month of the year, Nisan, ironically so. In the yellow over here, we have Lag Ba'omer and Ha'atzma'ut and Yom HaShoah, all falling, falling in the month of Iyar. And Lag Omer is a holiday that falls in the month that the 49 days of the Omer. And it's a time that we take a little notice and say, you know, this is a time that we can play and in the fields and recognize our sense of freedom. Yom Ha'atzma'ut, of course, is our Israel's Independence Day. Israel became a state in 1948. And then we have Yom HaShoah remembering the Holocaust that occurred in 1939 to 1945, killing six million Jews and close to 10 million people of all kinds. Um, it is a terrible, terrible um, holiday to remember HaShoah, to remember the catastrophe that happened surrounding World War II and the Holocaust. Then we have Shavuot, which is again one of our pilgrimage holidays. So is uh, Passover, by the way. So we have our three pilgrimage holidays. One of them is Passover, the other one is Sukkot, and the other one is Shavuot. And we have the month of Sivan, which is Shavuot, the giving of the Torah. And that are, is the holiday where we received our commandments and our Torah from Mount Sinai and how the gift of the Torah, it's called um, Matana HaTorah, the present of the Torah. Then we have the month of Tammuz, not a lot going in the month of Tammuz, but then in the summer month of Av, we, we celebrate Tisha B'Av, and that is to remember the destruction of the temple. Because we always want to remember we had one temple that was destroyed, and then the second temple was destroyed, and those temples we remember, and that's the surrounding wall and the, in Jerusalem, the western wall, as we pray to the Kotel and place notes in the crevices of the wall. And we celebrate the destruction of the temple with the holiday of Tisha B'Av. Then we have the month of Elul, which is our last month. And this is a month where we, where we read um, when Moses died, and so Moses died right in this month, right over here. And um, I think it is said that Moses was born and Moses died on the same exact day. Okay, so these are the holidays, the Jewish holidays, and the most important holiday that we didn't mention, that's mentioned in our Ten Commandments. Number four is honoring the Shabbat. And then we have a beautiful holiday called Rosh Chodesh, honoring the moon, the gift of the moon, a new moon for my people. It's a song called A New Moon for My People, and it's, in, um, it's on our new CD entitled Time to Shine. And the song is called A New Moon for My People, recognizing from the Torah portion bow how appreciative we are for the Rosh Chodesh the Rosh, the head of the month, a new month, a new moon. So let's look at did you knows. Did you know the Shabbat is the most holiday, most important holiday of the Jewish holidays, even though it comes once a week? So that is something I bet you most people don't know. When you say what is the holiest holiday of all, they probably won't know. And of course, we just talked about the Western Wall, and I bet you a lot of people won't know what that Western Wall is. Some people call it the Wailing Wall. We like to refer it is as the Kotel, which is the wall, or the Western Wall, as we it faces west to all of us, and we like to face east toward it. Here are the key words that I think are important of 
of the seasons. We have fall, which is stav. We have winter, which is choref. Spring is aviv, like Tel Aviv, which is hill of spring. We have summer, which is kaitz. And we have month, which is chodesh. And a new month, which is, would be chodesh chadash, a new month. The wise wizard says, if you recognize and celebrate the J holidays, you will be following the traditions of the Jewish people. And that's what we'd like to do, is put ourselves in somebody else's shoes and figure out what we can be appreciative and grateful for. We're always worrying about the next generation of Jews, our children. So this is the J Holidays and J Months. I hope it was helpful. We'll see you next time on Solomon Says.